Hello, the previous video was last in the custom controls list, since it would take a long time to do all of them and I would like to switch to another type of content as I left a comment in the description. A total of 9 custom controls were created and in some video comments they asked how to add the controls to Visual Studio and use them in any project. Well there are 3 ways to do it. First, there is the option to manually add the custom controls DLL to the Visual Studio toolbox. However, in lower versions of Visual Studio 2019, it only affects the current project where it is added, that is, you will have to add the controls in each project where you want to use them. In the latest versions of Visual Studio, controls are permanently added to the toolbox. Second, upload it to the NuGet packages and share it. Similar to the above, it only affects the current project where the library is added. And as a last option, create an extension package for Visual Studio, to install later or share in Visual Studio Marketplace, in this case when you install the extension, the custom controls are permanently added to the toolbox in any version of Visual Studio. Well, we will start with the first way, for this we must create the DLL file of the custom controls and add it manually to the Visual Studio toolbox. In order to use custom controls in other projects, we must ensure that all the classes of the controls are public, since being private or protected, the class is only visible and accessible to the same project or assembly to which it belongs. So, before generating the control library, we must verify that the classes are public. I'm walking around in the circle of life, doing the things I know. Walking the same ways a hundred of times with the same soul. Once finished, we open the project properties and change the output type to class library. If you already have it in this format, skip the step. Now, we simply build the project to generate the custom control library. Finally, we open the project folder in the file explorer. We enter the bin folder, then we enter the debug folder, and in this folder is the project's DLL file. Then we simply copy the file to the location we want. This DLL file is the library that contains all the classes and resources of the project. It is designed to be used by other applications. Okay, now we can add this library to the Visual Studio toolbox. For this we create a new project and do the following. On the toolbox, we right click, select add tab, and place a name, for example RJ controls. Then right click on the created tab, and select choose items. If you're doing this for the first time, it will take a while for this to finish loading. In this window and tab, we click the browse button. Locate the custom controls library, select the file, and click the open button. Then, in the list of components, we check that all the controls are there, and finally we click the OK button. The controls will be added in the tab that we create, then we can use them in this project, the reference to the library is added automatically. Well that's it, this is how you manually add a control library to the Visual Studio toolbox. You can take this file anywhere or share it with their friends so they can use it in their projects. As I mentioned in the introduction, in lower versions of Visual Studio 2019, you have to add the library in each project where you want to use them. In Visual Studio 2019 or higher, controls are added permanently. For example, I will create another new project. As you can see, 
The custom controls remain in the Visual Studio toolbox. However, you should not delete or move the DLL file of these custom controls, since if you do, Visual Studio will not be able to find the reference path, so I recommend you save this file in a fixed path. For example you can create a folder exclusively for storing custom libraries. Well that's all in this tutorial. In the next video we will perform the second method, which is to upload this control library to the NuGet packages. Until the next video.